Well, finally just started snowing a couple hours ago. That's something I've been waiting quite a while for. Jeep did me proud today. That thing went everywhere I needed it to go. Took the dog around the island for a little while with the camera just to see if there was anything around. Mostly just deer. Whoa! Almost fell. So, figured to take a walk back and see what the lake looks like. Ooh, it's pretty back here. Just gonna make sure I don't eat it here. Damn. Wow, yeah. It's gorgeous right now. Yeah, it's just amazing here. Still only like 33 degrees, so just enough to make the snow fall. And still comfortable enough that hmm, I'm just out here in a hoodie. So for the most part I got everything all buttoned up. Bedroom slides already closed and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be leaving in a couple of days. Ooh. That was a pileated woodpecker that just flew by. That was cool. Those things are huge. They're like the size of turkeys. Wonder where you went. Yeah, I'm not sure where he went. So there's my road. This is the main road. Oh, looks like we got some deer crossing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but that's why I love this place. Literally just walk out the front door and I've already seen a woodpecker and a couple of deer. This is my property in a nutshell. That's everything that I've been cutting this year from this area right here that was going to be a garden but that plan is changing I'm actually moving the RV over there and then my garden is going to be where the RV is at and then eventually I'm going to have a cabin like right there one thing that I do have to do while I'm thinking about it actually that's why I'm out here I gotta chop wood. Ugh. Always, always with the wood chop in here. That's the only bad thing. If I could find a way to automate this, or if anybody wants to come do this for me, by all means, um, I'm tired of it. So. All right. So, just some of the things that I travel along with: hatchet, hatchet. I think just about every battery-operated tool Dewalt makes. And uh, chainsaw. I usually bring the chainsaw with me because when I'm running around with a camera, a lot of times I have no idea where I'm even going. I don't ever plan on going on the trails when I'm by myself, but because sometimes that can be dangerous. Um, but a lot of times I end up getting myself into situations that I probably shouldn't be in. I don't know where this camera is pointing, sorry. Nice thing is, is I've been driving around all day, so the chainsaw is warm. I shouldn't have any issue with it. Alright, yeah, so the snow is coming down a little bit harder. Not too bad, though. Um, but it looks like we're going to have several inches by the time night falls. So I'm going to get this pile cut. Uh, Pooch is inside freaking out because he thinks I'm leaving. Ooh, we got angry squirrels, too. So, that part's done, not the part that I hate. The actual chopping of it. So I gotta take the hatchet. This is the one part that a lot of people don't understand. So now I gotta take the hatchet and cut these small pieces into even smaller pieces. So this one's gonna have to get cut in half just because my stove is small. Tiny home, tiny stove. That's kind of how it goes. So everything's gotta be cut appropriately. But the thing is super efficient. Uh, it only burns like three pieces an hour. Uh, right now it's, I don't know, I think it's 33 degrees outside. It is 75 degrees inside. That little stove is super efficient. 
um, probably one of the best things I ever bought for sure for uh, for up here I literally wouldn't be able to survive this place without it so definitely one of the best things that I bought so I can hear doggy in there freaking out uh, he hates it when I'm gone now even if he knows that I'm outside so I'm gonna finish chopping this up real quick get back to him and watch my f1 race so thanks for sticking around